Hello, my name is Rick. Ciao, my name is Millie. And this is episode 16. Oh, said it, she. Of season two. Do where? Of Yonks Ago. This is Yonks Ago, coming into your ears. Now what are Yonks? They're kind of like you. Just a father and a daughter who want to know all about some people from Yonks Ago. Interesting people who did interesting stuff, but about whom we don't know enough. So we're gonna dig deep and find it all out. Yonky doodlers know what we're all about. Yonks Ago! Hey, ho! Hey, Yonks Ago! Hey, ho! Unfortunately, Yonky Doodlers, this episode is just going to be me because Rick, um, my dad, has actually chucky waked it and I have not heard from him in a week and a half. So, it's just me. I mean, this would have worked better if we hadn't just done the introduction that no, they no, listened no, no. to. That, no, no, no. <laughs> and if you were wondering, that intro was pre-recorded. We, um, we recorded a lot of intros. <laughs> um, yeah, so just so you know, the Nancy Weck story does go on for about 50 episodes in, mm-hmm. in the season because mm-hmm. that's how many we pre-recorded. Um, th- no, you're not supposed to speak. I can't help it. Uh, oh. You're besmirching my good name. I came close to Chucky Waking it. You're right. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, I did Chucky Wake it as, yeah. as discussed. Yeah. I followed firmly in the footsteps of Chucky Wake. I basically lived <laughs> that Chucky Wake life. Did you meet Chucky Wake? I, um, I think somewhere he was in, he was inside me all along. Yeah. Oh, true. Um, but then I did something Chucky Wake never did. I unchucky waked it. Well, he actually did many times. He would unchucky wake it and then one time he did not unchucky Two. wake it. That's true. But um, <laughs> I guess um, sometimes he got past the point of no return and um, then he didn't return. That is true. You well. know what I mean? But yeah. I've broken the mould. I've I said, see. hey, I can disappear for a little bit. Okay. And then who's this at the door? Why it's... Ch- Literally though. Chucky wake. I got out of my shower yeah. on good old Sunday night. Yeah. And I just hear I hear a man's voice in my house. I'm and you're like, like, what's going on? What? Grab a baseball bat. I was uh, I literally I was like, who? We're, we're under uh, attack. Is, is mum on the phone? Like, yeah, mm, maybe using her man voice. Yeah, no, no, like on speaker. <laughs> you know how people time. have a phone voice. <laughs> Your mum's one is is a man. <laughs> yeah, it is. Ah, oh, good know. <laughs> and then I come out right. I'm like, ah. Oh. My dad. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> He's done it. He's unchucky waked it <laughs> in a very real and palpable way. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Look, the uh, the podcast can go on. Yeah. It w- can go on. It will go on. Yeah. It will. Can go on. Must go on. Surely, surely you knew that you were gonna you you, you were gonna come back all along because we only did a double down. Um. Yeah. Look, if I tried to squeeze in the whole rest of this epi- yeah. season before I left, that might have made you more nervous. I reckon. Be like, mate, we're Damn, doing. We a- just did- 50 episodes. Yeah, we're, we're doing a dodecahedra that's, down. That's 50 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, but no, I was much more lackadaisical. Or, I mean, though if I was really chucky what waking does, it. What does lackadaisical mean? Like not much. Like that, laid back? Not, yeah, laid back, not that much effort. I love that Ta- word. Taking it easy. Lackadaisical. Yeah. That's awesome. But you have to go to a little bit of effort to say the word, which yeah. is oh, so many words just, like that. Yeah. Um, but Oh, what's that? Oh, oh my God, that, that word mm-hmm. where it's like um, it means fear of. Big words, yes, and it's a really long word. Um, like, yeah, and I don't know what it is. I can't. T- I can't but, tell. You. I mean, that just destroys the whole point because you're like, and I it, have a phobia of big words, and you're like, oh, what's that called? And you're like, oh, I, I can't, can't tell, tell you. you. Yeah. I can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, and it's like monosyllabic. Yeah, means phobia means no, monosyllabic means one syllable, oh. and yet it's got heaps of syllables. Like, mm. there's just heaps of words that are yeah. What means one syllable? Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like there's a lot of words like that where I think l- language people, the linguists, yeah, we're, we're just, just like having a laugh. Taking the piss. Yeah. yeah. Like Greenland and Iceland as well. Yeah. They just were like, yo. Swapsies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I reckon that it was one of those things where they had a battle one one um, year and they said, well, if we win, we get your name. Oh. Uh, and if you win, you get, you get our name <laughs> or something. Like Iceland will become Greenland and, or vice versa depending on who wins. And then it was a draw and they're like, what do we do? Because – we didn't decide what happens if it's a draw. And they're like, well, we just have to swap names. Wait, Rather- what? But so if one person wins and there'd be two Greenlands? Yeah. Two yeah like the whole, the whole thing would be Greenland. You know how like oh, Alaska's part of America, even like though it's not really connected? Opposite? Aren't they like not together? Yeah, they're not together, but they could still like... Mm. Oh, I guess so. Okay. You right. know? I- 
if you, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, that's just what happened in history. I can't, I can't, I don't. Wait, really? No. It doesn't really matter whether you like it or not. It's just historically factual. No, you, did you just make that up? Yeah, the great Greenland v. No. Iceland <laughs> <laughs> tournament <laughs> of 13 BC. Do I tell them when you convinced me about Pinocchio and the, the nose? Um, I don't know. I, I can't remember. See, this is what happens. Yeah. Um, you've heard my other podcast, yeah. How About This, many, well, you've heard many episodes of that where we often say, I can't remember where I've, whether I've said this on the podcast. You always have. And now you're experiencing the very same thing. Yeah. You're like, have oh, I well, talked about this on the podcast? I'll, I'll just do a summary. He convi- oh, do you want to do it? No, you do it. Oh, okay. So uh, he convinced me that your noses keep going once you die and that's why you have headstones. To stop your nose from growing out of the ground, <laughs> right? I mean, it <laughs> and makes then, sense. And then he was like, yeah, because that, that's why po- P- Pinocchio is a story. Yeah, the story of Pinocchio. And I was like, oh. It all makes it sense. It makes sense. Yeah, that was not true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Chucky Wake uh, and Nancy Wake. Yeah. I mean, I can spin a yarn. And because I never know if he's being sarcastic or not either. No, I've got a very, like a poker face. Yeah, because, you know, or he's rather, an actor. Or rather, I always look like I'm um, a, a bit goofy. Yeah, I, got, I, I always, yeah. I've got natural sure. goofy face, Yeah, whether I'm telling the truth or not. Uh, but look, we probably spend enough time catching up with each other <laughs> yeah. because, full disclosure, I, ref- I refuse to talk to Millie until yeah. the podcast. I thought, no, save lo- it all up. He locks himself in his room yeah. and he's reading the Nancy Wake book <laughs> yeah, just, just to, like, find, practising his dialogue Yeah. To say, don't say Egyptian zone. Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say Egyptian zone, Nancy Wake. Not he again. Practices. You fool. You he, fool. He practices for hours. I've been beating myself up. For, oh, that's all I did in New Zealand was just work through the pain and trauma oh. of having said Egyptian zone, Nancy Wake over and over. Um, but look, and I've come through the other side. Mm. I'm a more well-rounded person. Yeah. And I feel better about myself. And my place in the world. Yeah. Azora. <laughs> so the podcast can continue. Um, so when we left uh, the podcast, I mean, it feels like a long time ago oh, now. I don't even I don't remember what happened in the last episode. Not even a lie. The uh, our Henri yes had proposed <gasps> to oh Nancy. I remember now. And and she had said. Oui. Oui. Oh, oui. <laughs> and so there we go. But then she also said, uh, but before we get married, um, I'm, I'm, I'm heading off to England. Oh, true. Going to England. But is she going alone? Uh, yeah, well, she's going, yeah, she's just off for a little bit of a living it up. How long? Uh, a month. She wants to spend oh, a month in England. That's um, like a long time. Partly as like a, because she knows she's about to, um, you know, marry a Frenchman and just be immersed in the French yeah. life. Okay. Um, to get some, some more cultures. Yep. Hang on while I fix a technical difficulty. <laughs> All right, sorted it out. Um, this would all go a lot smoother if you'd hurry up and get your audio engineering degree. I'm sorry, I've got things to do. But to be fair, it was you who solved that issue because yeah. I could hear uh, the sound uh, coming out from somewhere and I'm like, it shouldn't be coming out. I've got the headphones plugged in um, and um, I don't have my headphones on but I can still hear the sound and um, and it turns out the headphones were just around my neck and yeah. I could hear them. I could hear the sound coming from there. Look, it's not rocket science sometimes but sometimes uh, it feels like um, you need a rocket science degree yeah, or at least an audio engineering one oh. or at least the potential to get one, which is what you have. Yeah. Oh, you're all potential right now. Yeah. You're just a nuggety ball of potential. <laughs> More like, oh, I got one. Ready? Yep. More like per 11 shul. Yeah. You nailed it. <laughs> That's um, when you got more this potential. Is the, this is the sort of wordplay I missed <laughs> while I was Chucky Waking it. That's the, the main reason I unchucky waked it. For the wordplay? Was for the mad wordplay where you yeah. take a syllable more of a like, word and change it slightly. More like, way. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, look. So, here's what it says. It says, Nancy felt a strong compulsion mm. to spend a little time in England before yep. uh, taking up her life in Versailles. You know how it be. With Henri. Yeah. Now, part of this was just, look, the... the um, the social expectations of the time and um, yeah. what, uh, you know, how you're supposed to look and everything. She's like, you know what? I've been living the high life a little bit, me and Henri. We go yeah. out to dinner. We have um, seafood at Scabby's. <laughs> um, we've been, we've been, we party hard. Yeah. And um, oh, I think I might have, I think I might <gasps> be, uh, you know, a little larger than I was yeah. when I first started this romance, I you see. know, uh, which, which often happens. Yeah. And, and um, look, social conventions at the time, she's like, oh, wouldn't mind. Would mind slimming down a bit before the big day. Yeah. She's like, England, I'm going to go there. I'm going to check into a 
health resort. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to spend a month at a health resort and I'm just going to – Get fit. I'm going to detox, going to get my life together. And when I turn up uh, for, for the wedding, I'm going to look amazing. <laughs> um, Nancy Wake's not mucking around. No. Um, and she can afford it now because her fiancé is well rich. Yeah. He's so like, she's like booked you. herself into a sweet, sweet health resort <laughs> yeah. to get fit. <laughs> Um, and she was also, uh, as I said, she was thinking it wouldn't be wouldn't be bad to spend some time among some English speakers um, yeah. before I am fully immersed in the French life. Yeah, just one last hurrah where I can use all my sweet English words um, in casual conversation. Yeah, and and then I'll say goodbye to it because <laughs> because from, from then on in it'll be French, French, French. We oui. maximum French, <laughs> Fr- Frenchimum. Uh, okay. Max of French. Yeah. <laughs> Just a lot of French. I like Max of French. Yeah, all right. Yeah. We'll lock it in. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Henri's like, you go, girl. Yeah. You go, go. Surely. Yeah. Just whatever you need, you do it. I don't think I've said surely for a while. No, maybe, you, maybe you've yeah. moved on. We're going to have no. to record a whole new Sh- theme song. Actually, each season we should have a new theme song as well. Oh, yeah. Surely I'll like keep saying surely, though. Like, here we go, surely. But uh, if we start to feel like you're forcing it, we'll be like, oh, she feels obligated mm-hmm. to get, throw in a few surelys. All right, so. Surely I won't. <laughs> well, yeah. you, you are now. I can tell this is no, like not I organic. Would, I, surely I would say. All right, yeah. no judgment, no judgment, no yeah. hate. It's all good. I invent, I made surely cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so Nancy's off. Um, it's the last week of August 1939 and the two of them are saying goodbye on the platform station in Maasai and she's yeah. heading off to Paris. Um, she catches a train to Paris, so then she can travel from Paris to London. London. Um, and so the day that Nancy arrived in Paris yeah. from Messiah, so she said goodbye Patty. to Henri. Yeah. But the day she did that, <gasps> oh, no. Hitler's forces <gasps> oh, no. had launched themselves on Poland. A trash. Um, so they've invaded Poland, yeah. which was, I mean, Hitler's stretching the friendship. The appeasement yeah. is really going to get a testing Isn't out. Isn't this when it like started? Poland is, well, let's say Poland, the, the invasion of Poland really was breaking point yeah. for everyone going, uh, should we do something? Yeah. Um, so Hitler's gone. Uh, she is that allowed? Is this allowed? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm pretty sure <laughs> this ain't good. Um, and so she arrives in Paris looking to go to England just as, uh, you know, everything's culminating. Yeah. Uh, so the news of everything, all the news is dripping in. Poland looked to be providing no great greater resistance to the Nazis than Czechoslovakia and Austria before mm. it. So he's already taken Czechoslovakia and Austria. They're all Nazified. Yeah. Uh, now Poland's gone. Oh, no. And in response, both France and Britain had issued ultimatums to Hitler oh. to withdraw from Poland oh. immediately. Yeah. They're like, get out, bro. <laughs> Stop, turn around. They're like, look, Czechoslovakia, we said no, and you said, I'm doing it. And we said, ugh, uh, all fine. All right, I guess so. Uh, same with Austria. We said, you, sh- you probably shouldn't. They're like, oh, oh but in oh. Austria and Germany, I mean, they're pretty intertwined. Oh, we'll allow yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so those two had already happened and they were like, oh, stop it, bro. <laughs> um, and, and as he was heading towards Poland, they go, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Not this one. Don't you do Poland. And he's like, no, I'm, I'm doing Poland. N- nope. And so, then he's, and so then he takes Poland and they're like, you get out yeah. or else. <laughs> um, but basically no one has any – Real confidence that Hitler's going to be like, oh, sorry, guys. No. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I, d- I didn't realise. I didn't realise Poland no. was such a sore point. Oh, no, <laughs> we'll, we'll pack up and go. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Oh, I'm, I'm so terribly sorry about all of that. I, I thought it was a different Poland you were talking about. It's just, I, I thought this was the, the all right Poland to invade. That's my bad. That's on Hitler. That's, uh, but chalk that up to Hitler's bad. Um, and so no one was confident that was the sort of conversation that was going to emanate out of, uh, out of, Hitler's, no. out of Hitler's face. Um, and so the tension in Paris when Nan- Nancy arrived yeah. was palpable. Oh, yeah. There's a real, like, vibe. There's, like, I mean, huh. the clock is ticking. Yeah. Um, there's hustle and bustle. Everyone's yeah. like, oh, God, war's coming. Oh, God. Uh, there's not even time to organise any more parties. I don't even feel like partying now. No. I think that was the vibe. It's like we can't even pretend. Yeah. Like we'd go to a party and it'd be all like a sad party. Mm. Or like people pretending. Like it'd be like people with the sad little party blowers in their mouth. <laughs> yeah. But blowing them sort of half heartedly yeah. and with a bit of a tear running down their face. Oh, like yeah. a sad party. Yeah. And like like a party hat, but it's like falling off a little bit. Yeah. And, and a few balloons just popping every oh. now and then, scaring the bejesus out of people. <laughs> um, yeah. So everyone's like, I don't want to go to that party. No. I'd rather just stay home and maybe. 
say goodbye to my loved ones, yeah. maybe pack up some precious items, maybe run. Yeah. Maybe just run away somewhere and hope for the best. But party time's over. That's yeah. the sense I'm getting from Paris. And um, party I think pooper? Yeah, Nancy's like, oh, damn. Um, she's like, maybe it'll be better in it's England. Okay. Gotta get fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and so, but the tension, so she's gone, maybe it'll be better in London. Yeah. Um, uh, but the tension was, I mean, if anything, just as bad, maybe worse. Oh, yeah. In, um, in London. She's um she's got herself in a sweet hotel again. Oh man, she's happy spending that yeah. sweet sweet corn. No, she's, she's not she's not heading towards this war in poverty. No. Um, she's like, well, if war hits, I'm at least going to stay in some good places before yeah. everything gets real. Yeah. So she's at a fancy hotel, um, and there's refugees everywhere. People mm. are flooding out of Europe. There's yeah. chaos. There's madness, and um, she decides while she's there, she's going to hook up with Micheline. Uh, the the young girl yeah. that we met earlier because she's been it's been three years since we first met her she's okay. she's sixteen 16? now yeah she's sixteen no 15. she was twelve but 15. I think it's later in the year okay. like her birthday yep, yep, you know yep, she was twelve three it's like three and a half I, years maybe I get it you get it I understand um and so she's sixteen now and she's living uh, she's staying I'm in a, sixteen yeah I know you're like Michelin yeah Michelin except she's staying in a convent what are we calling her in, Michelin in uh, I mean, we, no, we, no, 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 I know. Michelin. So we, it was Michelin, yeah, and then we'll, and then we like change it to Michelin, yeah. It's Michelin, and now we're going to come a Michelin, yeah, <laughs> Michelin, M- Michelin, Michelin. <laughs> um, so Michelin was staying in a convent in oh, Surrey, yeah. just getting a little bit of like, why, well, while well, you're a young star, we're just going <laughs> to give you some proper, uh, you know, rules and regulations, yeah, yeah. Um, and so what Nancy wanted to do was, yeah. um. Just to take her mind off all the all the madness was pick up Michelin for the con- convent and take her for a nice day trip Aww. where they have a nice time. And Michelin yep. was like stoked. She's like, "Yes, I love my friend Nancy, and also convent life is yeah. way dull. Yeah. Anything to get out of here, even for a day." Yeah, sign me up. Yeah, and so off they go. They catch a train. Um, they head into Waterloo. 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 Yeah, that's nah. where they're going, and they. <laughs> But as they pull into Waterloo Station, uh-oh, uh-oh. people are running everywhere. That does n- that's not a good sign. People are shouting. Some people are crying. Men in uniform are scurrying to catch trains. That is not a good Newspaper sign. Newspaper boys are screaming, read all about it. <laughs> War has been declared. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, it's happened. Uh-oh. No more mucking about. The war is not coming anymore. It's it's come. Yep. She's and then, here. And then they hear over the radio... Uh, the, the broadcast, the, the prime minister's on the radio, yeah. broadcasting everywhere. Everyone stops yeah. to listen. Yeah, and it's like uh, I'll do the I'll do a um, British prime minister voice for okay. you. And this is the announcement. I heard it on my radio. That's it. Radio. Okay, go, and go this ahead. This is what they were thinking yeah. now. This yeah. is, they yeah. heard this on their radio, <laughs> and it wasn't just Radio Gaga. No, it was Radio War War. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, so the prime minister. Um, again, I'm just. I don't know what he actually sounded like. No, I'm just going to no, no. give it my best British. I'll, I'll prime believe minister it voice. either way. This morning, the British ambassador in Berlin handed the German government a final note stating that unless we heard from them by eleven o'clock that they were prepared at once to withdraw their troops from Poland, a state of war would exist between us. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. (gasps) At such a moment as this, the assurances of support that we have received from the Empire are a source of profound encouragement to us. Now, may God bless you all and may he defend the right, for it is evil things that we shall be fighting against. Brute force, bad faith, injustice, oppression, and persecution. And against them, I am certain that the right will prevail. End of broadcast. Wow. So yeah. that's it. It's official. The Prime Minister has said, look, we tried. We said, get out, bro. He said, yeah. nah, bro. <laughs> it's on. Yeah. It's on. Uh, we've tried everything. You all, he's like, you all saw we tried. Yeah. We're like real nice. Yeah. We're like, we understand where you're coming from. We, we don't agree with your practices. Uh, but keep be cool. Yeah. Um, he wasn't cool. It's over. Enough, enough is enough. That's enough. Um, I mean, and this is a place where it wasn't that – this is not that long since the last World War. The, no. gr- the Great War. Yeah. Oh, the Great War. Because um, it was so great. Bro, great. that war was – awesome. Yeah, that's what they're thinking. Yeah. And so, look, it hasn't been that long. Like, honestly, in the terms of uh, history – a lot of people remember the war. Yeah. And now they're like, another war? Oh, oh. are you 
This is the worst with the same bad guy. Oh, the great, the great <laughs> Um And so, look, it, it's official. And so, Nancy, probably not, not very happily, much no. against her better opinion, immediately cancelled her stay at the health resort. Aww. She's like, probably not the best time to be <laughs> focusing on shedding a few pounds for the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I might need to cancel that. Yeah. Um, and I bet everyone else who was booked in probably also did the same, yeah. except for like two or three people who were like, I mean, uh, wars, are, wars are a thing, but yeah. also I like to look good. Yeah. It's got to look good for the war. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I paid a lot for this health spa. Yeah. I'm not cancelling. No. Their cancellation policy is rigorous <laughs> and I will not get a full refund. <laughs> but Nancy's like, ah, it's over. Yep. Health resort. Gotta get back to gotta get back to Henri. Yes. Will Henri have to go to war? No. Um, well, I'm not sure. I feel like he's probably of the right age. Yeah. Um, and so then they turn around. Um, Nancy's got to take Michelin back to the to oh, the convent. Michelin's so, like trash. It's like this was the worst day. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out of the convent so I could see our country go to war. Yeah. Great. <laughs> um, and so, and she's petrified now that Nancy's going to head back to England and leave her in France. Mm. Uh, no, other way around. Go back to France and leave her in England. Yeah, yeah. Um, because what's she going to do? Um, and then the following day, Nancy's like, right. It's wartime. How can I help? Mm. So yeah. Nancy turns up at the recruiting offices to offer herself as a great candidate. She's thinking, yeah. man, I could be in the Army. I could be in the Navy. I could be yeah. in the Air Force. Yeah. I am a wily character. How do you want to use me? <laughs> like, put me to work. <laughs> yeah. I'm Nancy Bloody Wake. I can, I can write Egyptian if you want. Do you need someone who can write Egyptian? I could do it. Is it Egyptian a language? Um, I'm going to say, yep. Like, because like they have all the like symbols. The hieroglyphics. Like, I feel like that's yeah. ancient, uh, from ancient Egyptian. Okay. I feel like it's probably developed a do bit they, since do then. They talk, do, I, they, do they speak Egyptian or do they speak Arabic? Uh, look, again, you'd think I'd know. Yeah. But the more questions you ask, the more I feel like I've got some real gaps in my knowledge. I it's more know. like I suspect Egyptian is a language. Yeah. And I suspect, um, yeah, that they have got their own written and oral language. Okay. But I don't want to commit to it unless I sound really ignorant. But in order not to commitment commit to it, I sound just as ignorant. Yeah. So I can't really win. So I'm going to commit to it. Yes. Egyptian. They have their own okay. language. I don't actually know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Lock it in. You know more than me. And I'm not going to research it. Yeah. And I'm going to see if anyone pulls me up on it. Yeah, um, probably will. Let's see. Probably not though. We don't, not many people listen. Uh, it's just me and you. <laughs> that's all we <laughs> we're need. Not, we're not going to tell each other. <laughs> you, you, you actually, oh, we might research it later. Yeah, you're the sort yeah, of yeah, person yeah. who will research it yeah. and then you'll you'll ambush me next yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah. You'll be like, and by the way. <laughs> just I, at the end, just slip it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I've got no chance to recover. Um, and so, yeah, so she turns up the recruiting officers. Yeah. Says, I'm, I'm Nancy bloody wake. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm like, you heard? yeah, there's nothing I can't do. <laughs> how can How can I help? Yeah. And they are like, uh, look, I like your enthusiasm. You're, yeah. <laughs> but um, we like, do you like to like pour tea? You, can, can you sew? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can put you to work at the canteen for like the real yeah. soldiers. Um, can, just not not in the front line. Like you, you can you can stay in London. Yeah. Um, and just like yeah, like be stoic. You can just like really think good thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, send your thoughts and prayers. Yeah, they're like that's oh, pretty much all all the use we've got for you <laughs> yeah. at this time in the war. Thanks and she's for your, thanks for your help. And she's like, "Are you serious?" No, I do not agree. Are you serious? And she's like, uh, "Guess what, London? Do you want to do you want to win this war?" Yeah, she's or not? like, she's like, "I don't like your attitude." She's like, uh, "Well, guess what? I'm not even going to stay here. I'm going to go back to France." Yeah. Um, Sucked in. Yeah. Just lost me. She's like, look, I would have stayed here. I would have I would have written a letter to Henri and yeah. said, can't come back because I've got to fight a war. Yeah. Man, I'm going to – I vowed to do the Nazis some mischief. Yeah. And here's my chance. Sorry, Henri. We'll get married once I've once I've done everything I can. <laughs> you don't die. I won't die. We'll get married. Everyone's a winner. Yeah. Um, she was willing to do that. <laughs> but then bloody the recruiting officers in London were like, oh, sorry, darling. Sorry, love. <laughs> Um, you've, aren't you plucky? But no. And she's like, too bad. I'm out of here. She's like, uh, guess what, Henri? I'm coming and we'll see what we can do over there. Yeah. At least then I'll be close to the action. I'll be in the thick of it because yeah. Germany's right there. France is here. And, uh, and I'll have you by my side. Yeah. I like them odds. So she's like, I'm coming back, Henri. 
Get ready. Uh, here I come. <laughs> yeah. um, and then they, then she gets a message back from Henri going, sweet, come <laughs> back. I'll push the wedding up. We'll sort things out. Everything's yep. going to be great. We'll face this war together. Oh, bless. And then um, Michelin's mother, uh, the, the oh, Madame. Andre. Andre. <laughs> she's like, oh, and also if you're heading back, could you please pick up Michelin and Uh-oh. bring her with you? Uh-oh. And uh, Nancy's like, oh, 100%. Oh, yeah, no, she I'll hasn't bring, left yet. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, good. I'm still here. Yeah, I'll yeah, grab her. Okay, I'll grab her. Good, good, good. I wasn't sure what you wanted me to do, but yeah. I will grab Michelin. Yeah, got to make it up to her. And I, so kind of she, ru- I kind of ruined her day. So she <laughs> turns up back at the convent and she's like, I'm Nancy Wake. I'm here to pick up Michelin. <laughs> and then the, the mother superior at the convent's like, uh, no, you can't just turn up and take her. We need written permission. Oh. There's a whole lot of paperwork. And she's like, well, damn it. Didn't, didn't they get, didn't she write? Didn't... Well, then they spent the rest of the day sorting out the paperwork and Lodged it all. I'm pretty sure Nancy Wake just fudged them. She's like, oh, yeah. oh gee, yep, I just got this signature from her mother. Here yeah. it is. Yeah, she was just around uh, at the cafe around the corner. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure she forged all the signatures she needed to do. Yeah. And then she got Michelin and they headed right out of town. They yeeted out of there. Um, and so finally, as they're leaving, I think, hang on a sec, I just need to check something. All right, I found the piece I want to. Talk about because we've got a good little bit of dialogue here oh, where we can both oh. a bit of role play. Uh, because um, no, you're going to be Nancy Wake. Oh, you're going to be Australia's own Nancy Wake. Cool, I can just be myself. Yeah, that's right. Um, and so they're getting out of England and they're getting onto a boat and they have to go through English customs. And, yeah. the, and the custom officer has a chat to them on the way through. And this is how it went. I'll play the customs officer. Okay, do I get to read? Or and do I you, well, all you have to say is yes. After your, everything? Your line is always yes. Okay, got it. Um, in your best Nancy Wake. Um, so I'll look at you when it's, you know, I'll, yeah, yeah. You'll, I'll oh, make it clear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll ask you a question and then you're just okay, going to answer. I'm, I'm a professional. Your one line, just repeat it. Yeah. You're going to nail this. Yes. Okay, so this is going through customs. <clears throat> oh, you know France will soon likely be invaded, miss. Yes. You know there's not even any guarantee you won't be sunk by a German torpedo halfway across the channel, miss. Yes. But you're still absolutely determined to go, even though you're not French yourself? Yes. Good luck. But I've got to tell you, if you go, you'll never come back. Do you understand? Yes. And that's it. And then that we're was out totally of there. good. <laughs> <laughs> we're it's like, uh, was, this, was this worth my time? Yeah. <laughs> um, and so she's like, I'm out of here. Yeah. Um, you could have used me as a weapon, but you didn't want to. And so now I'm out of here. Now you're trying to warn me not to go. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mix, mix, you don't know mix, me. Mix signals. I could get sunk by a torpedo and be just fine. Oh. Bro, I'd be swimming out of there. I'm Australia's own Nancy bloody wake. I, haven't you heard? Jeez. <laughs> um, and so off they go on their way back to France yeah. as war has been declared. Yeah, the uh, war. And that is all the time. Oh. Good place to Bro, end. Hitler's got some nerve, I tell you Mate, that. he was, he was not going to stop. <laughs> oh, no. Um, they gave him free reign and he yeah. abused it and uh, it's come to this. So oh. finally, look, 16 episodes in, we promised a war and it has finally well, officially been declared. Are you happy now? Yeah. Shouldn't be. Well done, Yonky Doodlers. <laughs> Your desperate need for another war has resulted in yet another yeah. war. Well. Uh, and only Nancy Wake stands between us and destruction. Yeah. <laughs> so, and she didn't even have time to get super fit. No. What? I mean, she's going she's not in. She's her best. Yeah. But I guess she's more like... Um, now she's going in like a, a contestant on Survivor. Oh. You know how like like oh. people who know Survivor when they get on Survivor they they sometimes they really like load up on their body weight because they yeah. know they they know they're going to lose a lot of weight so they go in yeah. there they like they chunk up before they go in there. Some they just beef up a little bit. Yeah, not everyone does it. Yeah. Not everyone can. Oh, no. But okay. some hardcore Survivor contestants like I'm going to lose a fair bit of body weight so I'm I'm going to I'm going to beef myself really up a little chunky. bit as a starting point so when I start yeah. dropping I've got I've got more energy reserves to draw yeah, on. Still got some. Yeah. yeah. And so I think Nancy Wake's going into the war. You know, she's got like, extra reserves. Good. She's ready. She's chilling. Other people will be emaciated long yeah. before she is. No, nah, the war is just her way to get fit. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most cataclysmic health <laughs> regimes of all time. Uh, but we're ready. It's happened. Yeah. Uh, what will what will become of Australia's own Nancy Bloody Wake? I hope Michelin survives. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah. And Henri, I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling deep down inside <laughs> that Henri is not going to make it. Woo! Wow. Just, just a there's a call. Just a hypothesis. There's <laughs> Millie's a big call. You reckon Henri's going to chuck you wake from yeah. life? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just be he's going to do the story. He's going to do the unchucky wakeable. <gasps> oh. 
Um, no, I'm trying to say it in the right. It's uh, no, I got. Wait, what's the, I'm gonna have to. Um, think, wait, what's the original word? Wait. Ch- if you Chucky wait. wake it, but it's it's un, un- unchucky wakeable. What's the word? The un- What's the actual word that you're combining it with? No, I'm not combining it with anything. Yes, you are. Oh, I think I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm led you down Wait, a button. I'm confused now. Yeah, we'll, we'll take this whole <laughs> confused discussion off podcast yeah. and try to figure out what the heck we've done um, yeah. because, geez, this podcast petered out. Yeah. Right when we're heading to a world war, we've lost all direction. <laughs> we've become aimless, listless. Uh, we no longer understand basic words that we're saying to each other. No. And um, uh, we couldn't have let the Yonky Doodles down more than we have right now. Okay. In many ways, you know, we're the only ones. <laughs> the fact that I unchucky waked it let everyone down because it oh. led to this moment where we all felt deflated and defeated and a little lost for words and yeah. ideas. Wait, but <laughs> if you didn't come back, then there wouldn't be a podcast. But is that what they want? Or, or would you have had to soldier on alone? But I don't, I don't know how to read. <laughs> Mate, you would have found a way. Oh, I guess so. Uh, or you would have just faked a story. What would Nancy Wake have done? Oh. She would have just gone, this is what happened next, hey, we, whatever. You know me, I'm the least like Nancy Wake here. <gasps> well. Out of the two of us. I guess. Oh, we'll see. Time will tell. I feel yeah. like you've got a lot of Nancy Wake in you, kid. Okay. A lot of Nancy Wake. I mean, you sold me those chocos that time. <laughs> I made it up. You oh, didn't. You okay. look so good. <laughs> Again, I should drop. I should stop talking to you because you can no longer fathom where I'm coming from. Um, but look, we're going to come back renewed uh, with a real sense of understanding and cohesiveness. Yeah. When we come back for yet another episode of Yonks Ago. Yonks Ago.